Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on volume differentiation cylinder perimeter rectangle ratio. Uh, there is something in this for everybody in terms of numbers. Uh, it's been sent to me by an IGCSE student and I think it's interesting. And uh, uh, there are two slides and I hope you'll be patient enough to watch both slides. Now, what you've got here is a cardboard with a fixed perimeter of 30 centimeters. Now, this is important. It's fixed. Uh, it's a fixed uh, a cardboard with a fixed perimeter of 30 centimeters. Now, what we want to do is to create a cylinder using this cardboard here. And we want to find the dimensions of a cardboard with perimeter of 30 cent centimeters that will give us uh, a cylinder with the maximum volume. Yeah, it says, what dimensions should the cardboard have in order to make a cylinder with the maximum volume? So we're not actually bothered by the uh, the size of the cylinder itself or the size of the cardboard as long as the perimeter is 30 centimeters. So in effect, the width of the cardboard has got to be between 0 and 15 and so with the length as well. So we can have something like that. Now, what it can do is, working purely on this one here, what it can do is to create a spreadsheet with three columns, one for volume, one for the width, and one for the length. And with that, you can calculate the, um, the dimensions that will give you the maximum volume. Now, the problem arises if the dimensions to give the maximum volume if the dimensions are not integers, I mean, they, can ha they could have fractions. Now, that's when you run into trouble. So this is where this method comes in. Now, the volume is V is equal to 4 pi R squared times H, and where R is the radius, and H is the, uh, the length of the cardboard. So it could be L could be this one here, or that one there. Okay? Now, we wish to express R in terms of W, by utilizing our knowledge of circumference. Okay, so the width of the cardboard will be the same as the circumference of the cylinder. And the circumference is two pi r. So now we can express uh, r in terms of w. So r is w over two pi, as we got there. Similarly, we can express l the length or h if you like in terms of w so 15 which is half the perimeter because 15 is this length times that sorry this width plus that length there okay so that's give us 15 now if you wish to derive the formula for this um i should do that in the next slide hopefully uh if, if you wish to derive the formula for this you replace this 15 here by p over 2 where p is the perimeter of the cardboard so that p over 2 will be half the perimeter. So you replace it with p, replace 15 by p over 2. Anyway, moving on. So that gives us L is equal to 15 minus W. Right. Now, if we plug this in into this formula for volume, we end up with V is equal to pi into W over 2 pi R squared plus 15 minus W. Do not forget that this is uh, all the be squared, 2 pi squared as well. So, if you open up the brackets, we have this here. Uh, simplifying, we also get this one here. Get this there. If we then differentiate V with respect to W, we end up with uh, this result here. And then we try and um, because this is derivative here. We want to find out if the derivative is a maximum or minimum there. So if now if we equate this to zero, okay, and then of course simplify as well, we end up with 10 minus w is equal to zero. Now if you multiply both sides by 4 pi over 3w, so that will cancel out. And 4 pi times 3w, sorry, 4 pi over 3w times zero will give us zero there. So that means that 10 minus W is equal to zero and W is 10. And because W is 10 and we're looking for 15, it then means that the length is 
five. So that gives gives us a ratio of of width to length of ten to sorry two to one. Yeah, that's the ratio there. Okay, now in the next slide, I should have a go at looking at a cardboard with a different perimeter, and then we we'll see how we get on with that. Next slide. Now, in this slide, what I've done here is to uh, uh, try to create a cylinder. Now, this time with, with a cardboard with perimeter of 40 centimeters. Now, the process is the same as for the last slide. So here we've got the volume. Uh, it's going to be whatever 4 pi into 20 w squared minus w cubed there. If we then... Uh, uh, differentiate v with respect to w we end up with 1 over 4 pi into 40w minus 3w squared there and we then wish to find out if this uh, derivative we have got there will give us a maximum or minimum uh, volume and now if we um, uh, factorize we've got w over 4 pi into 40 minus 3w is equal to 0. Now, if we multiply both sides by 4 pi over w, this will cancel out. And 4 pi over w times 0 will give us 0. So, that means that 40 is equal to 3w, and w is 40 divided by 3. Now, to find out if this uh, value of 40 over 3 is a maximum or a minimum value, uh, value. <laughs> sorry if we want to find out if this w of 40 over 3 will give us a maximum or minimum volume we then do a second derivative and that's what we got there now we don't substitute this value of 40 over 3 into w from this second derivative there and we find out that the second derivative gives us a negative uh, value we just suggest to us that this uh, w value of 40 over 3 will give us the uh, maximum possible volume for a cylinder created with the cardboard of perimeter of 40 centimeters so now we confirm that this width will give us uh, the maximum volume so our dimensions would then be uh, 40 divided by 3 by that's width divided by 20 by uh, a length of 20 over 3 centimeters now note here that the dimensions as before the ratio of the width to length as in the last slide is 2 to 1 now this is a graph uh, produced by using um, the formula for volume for the 30 centimeters and the volume for formula for the volume for perimeter of 40 centimeters now note here that the width that gives us the maximum value is 10 and that's one third of uh, 30 centimeters and for the perimeter of 40 centimeters the width that gives us the maximum volume is also one third the perimeter I hope all that made some sense and please please subscribe thank you for watching and uh, bye bye now